So let's talk about going old school. For more, we're joined now by David Bonson. He is the founder and chief investment officer of the Bonson Group. What's old is new again. I mean, IBM, one of the best performing tech stocks in all the land. Are you surprised or did you call this? No, I'm not surprised. We've owned it for quite a while, and it's actually up 27% over the last 12 months. On the calendar year, it's up 10%. It had a great ending last year as well. But keep in mind, it's also yielding about 5% in dividend as well. So IBM's been a big winner. And then even with Cisco, it's uh, uh, about a 3.2% dividend yield, double the market's dividend. And even though it's down on the year, it's down much less. And it's actually up um, about 8 9% in the last few weeks here. Yeah, what's good about what's IBM doing right? Or is it maybe just kind of like a safety stock where people are temporarily parking money to find something else? Yeah, no, it's a great question, Brian. But the answer is but with Cisco, with IBM and Intel, all three of the same story. There's an old line business that kicks off a ton of free cash flow. They have a great balance sheet, low debt, a lot of cash. They generate a lot of money, but it isn't high growth. Then they have a growth business that is sort of a free call option. In IBM's case, it was their Red Hat acquisition. So they are a leading player in the cloud. So they have a cloud business on top of their old line businesses, and we think that's the formula, formula you want versus the big fang stocks that really were dependent on the multiple expanding forever, a P.E. ratio that can go through the, the moon, and it just doesn't work that way. Yeah. Now, Texas Instruments, again, da- down 7 percent, but, but, you know, in retrospect, it doesn't look too bad, and T.I. kind of puts their chips in a lot of the stuff that we don't, we don't think about very much. It's not necessarily new or or sexy, but maybe that's the point, David. Yeah, and, and, and I would point out with Intel that their whole reason for being down this year a lot is because of what they're doing for the future. We happen to like it, but we knew it was going to be very capital intensive, and the market doesn't like that right now. But um, the companies like Texas Instruments and so forth, Intel is going to become a manufacturer of these uh, semiconductors. And so they're going from chip design to chip manufacturing. Arizona, Ohio plants are being built, as you guys talk a lot about on the network. This is going to be a great story, but it's going to take some time. Yeah. And what are you expecting overall? It's, I guess it's that time of the year, David, where we start asking people what they think about next year. You don't have to make a specific forecast. This year stunk. What do you think is going to happen in 2023? Well, first of all, you're forcing me to say that this year didn't stink for us because we're up on the year with dividend growth. And that's what my answer is going to be about next year. That's what we do is dividend growth. It's it's not meant to be in season at all times. I don't care that this year happened to be a shining great year for dividend growth. We like it all the time. But right now, where people need free cash flow, they need growing income to counteract inflation. You're going to start seeing yields go down next year in the bond market. And in my opinion, dividend growth is where you want to be. You're going to get better balance sheets, less volatility, and more predictable cash flows. The areas that are going to hurt are what hurt this year, which is anything relying on multiple expansion. Even when the market stops going down, which maybe that's happened already, Brian, but P.E. ratios are not going back to 25 times. It's just not going to happen next year. So we, that's why we like dividend growth next year as well as this year. Well, forcing yourself to say you're up this year, that's not a bad thing. You see what I did there? It's kind of nice. And if, congrats, by the way, <laughs> to you, your sir. clients, because that's, that's, this year it has not been easy. David Bonson yeah. of the Bonson Group, thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, Brian. All right.